So let's see. De Venezuela. We want also to thank the National Electoral Council to the five representatives that today have been given a new demonstration of a system of electoral system that works clearly and has allowed to the Democratic Party to be with tranquility and peace. We can review the electoral events in any place of this continent, even in other points of the, the planet. And you can notice without a hesitation that Venezuela is an example for the world, for the countries of the world into the electoral events in entire peace. Even despite that always are them, the minority, that the ones that are persistent in the darkness, in the hatred, and to seek to confront brothers and sisters, and to find a way to attack what is the actual mean of being Venezuelan, which is a close and warm people. We want to congratulate the deployment of the Great Republic that guarantee the square because we can say it now from the last couple of days, threats were given against the action of the people in the state of Venezuela. And those threats were sorted out by the President Nicolas Manudo and by the Venezuelan state to even in the silence to stop those actions to be against the development of the electoral event. Now that the electoral event has happened and we have the result, we can say that those are were failing. We stop this outburst of sabotage to happen to, to generate fear in the population. We cannot give any results. We have to wait patiently. The report of the National Electoral Council, but immediately after that this report is emitted, we are going to wait for you, where you know, to find ourselves who do you know already? Let's answer some questions through Venevision. How are you, Rafael? Good evening, deputies. Precisely what I was asking to the governor, Hector Rodriguez, this afternoon, the tour that we made during almost the whole day, we saw a big participation of people mainly the elders and the entire opposite a lot of young people participating and going into voting in the centers in the areas where we've been mostly in our coverage and our operative democracy 2024 from your lens and the general command in this process that is different from others that have been put into light in, in the past. Well, we had in our center a machinery really well oiled and we test one and over again that allowed us to know what was happening in real time in every single municipality in every state and in our national center. And we notice a development of the event of elections with a characteristic, and it was the participation with an asymmetry in the centers of the polling stations. For example, the Caracas city in the voting centers of the east of the city, they started, as naturally happens in these centers of election sectors with a participation, a very important participation in the first hours, but in the next hours was unflattened in the participation in those centers. And 
as and also in the rest of the centers. And other example in the popular areas in the center of in the interior of the country and the areas where the strength of the revolution of Venezuela they started also with strength and we could determine that our elderly population were the ones that went earlier to the votation centers and as you were saying in the popular areas in the interior of the country was maintain the influx of rotation during the whole day because the adults Delcy Hector and I we were in a center an action center in the Sucre parish in Caracas and they were still voting at 5 30 p.m. when we were there so there were happen as an uh, interior occasions and a uh, asymmetric participation speaking of voters the perception and the elections that the lesson that Venezuela is given to the world is that we, us we have the strength we have the determination to make the matter of Venezuela from the Venezuela and among them and it's unacceptable that factors external factors of the country whichever it, was, it could be mostly are trying to interfere in matters that are only concerned from the Venezuelans and today the people has spoken and this voice of the people must be respected and all of us we will make it happen my conclusion I think that is closed a stage that the people is given a very important lesson to the ones that are calling for violence and the sanctions requests against Venezuela the ones to clap and celebrate that 962 sanctions are weighed upon Venezuela and like the 17 constitutive assembly signed the peace for the republic these elections and this result will mark the defeat of the extreme factors in Venezuela and are signing the definitive defeat of the aggressor from the exterior a new stage has come new stage of build the a stage where the first the first decree I cannot say that we will speak about that later but a new stage is building where the Venezuelans we can find each other we can as in other times we've been doing to give conversations among different sectors and the main mission is everyone to put the effort together to this economic recovery will be faster in Venezuela by Televé, Daniel Álvarez. Good evening, deputies. Good evening to my journalist colleagues. I want to ask, the governor of Miranda has indicated a few hours ago that Operation Remata has been carried on, and I want to know if it's happening right now and which city. Thank you. Well, Daniel, the a.m. till dark, from 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. and in some occasions when there is a wide participation of voters the National Electoral Council has decided to prolong those voting events but as I was saying there was a meaningful participation in the morning hours and this group of the center that is a characteristic is finding ourselves in sectors of the half and high class in different cities unflattered very fast and as the electoral event and the voting act is very simple and very fast and this time was only one 
stop that which is very even more simple to, to vote for governors or deputies. So this was way more fast than in the development of the electoral. So at 6 p.m., the voting act was ended in the majority. Some of the rest were still open, but in the big majority ended up at 6 p.m. Thank you. And by the National Radio of Venezuela, Gabriel Fuentes. Good evening. An international observer from the United States was saying, Jason Hickler, that he could assure two things. The fraud sentence are false, and he was assuring also that the elections of Venezuela are safer than in the United States. I want your analysis on this. And speaking of the elections in our country, today the Fighting Rooster and other night candidates were presented. And I want to know at this time, as Vicente Lucena was saying in electoral acts, previous electoral acts, that what at this time is a reversible tendency and by the other hand i'm still in the question in your first intervention the bank of the people is going to be open well let's start by the opinion of the international observer from the united states i think venezuela waves the curious record of is the only country and the only event, electoral event, in where one of the 10 candidates that are participating in the event are claiming fraud beforehand. We have never seen a thing like that because the plan was another one. The plan was to participate in base of the parameters established in the Constitution. No, the plan was to use this electoral event, to use the campaign of the elections to seek the way to get the violence to be unleashed in some points and on some areas of the country. That was a real plan. And they didn't sign the agreement of, upon the National Electoral Council recognizing the results and they permanently insisted and were given a fraud. How can you speak about fraud if it's not the result into the light? We want to reject any form of attempt of violence for any se sector of the politics in the country because what Venezuela really wants is tranquility, peace, to be at home, quiet, to go to your work in the morning, to be in the company to produce, to carry on this process, to fast the recovery of the economy that we have. It's enough to face brothers and sisters against brothers and sisters. That we have to put an end on this. And a time has come where all of us need to be com compromised to take care of the peace. So we understand that there is a sector that prefers to receive orders from outside and to generate acts of violence. And we won't allow this, and we won't allow this, and I'm saying all the Venezuelans and Venezuelan citizens in general, we are responsible and we are the gatekeepers of the criteria of the public powers in Venezuela. Others are the ones that permanently are attacking and of the popular power. And we're going to respect the moment and the result of the National Electoral Council where it's read the report with the tendency of the irreversible tendency of the result in the elections of today. I'm only saying where we're going to, to be after this result is written. And I'm also saying you can guess where we're going to be. We want you to, to be here with us to that place to be reunited with you know who. And besides that, and we can say this where it's going to be. Today, 
Today is the birthday of the greatest man that this homeland has given birth in the last 150 years. We feel the strength and the spirit of Chavez in this comeback that means the event of the electoral. We feel the embrace of our commander Chavez as if, if is taking care of his son, President Nicolas Maduro. In the most intense electoral campaign that I have ever witnessed in my life or met in other about other electoral campaign. Always the strength and the presence of Hugo Chavez. And I can assure this because it has nothing to do with the electoral event. This is our thing to the end our celebration and we will share cake for Commander Uwe Chavez in the last hours. Anyone else? There's no more questions. Marcos, go ahead. I want Rosita, Rosita, the violence has failed, the hatred has failed, and the love has won, the independency has won, the sovereignty of Venezuela has won, and also won the peace. Marcos, and we're ending. I want to ask for a tweet of Leopoldo López from a few minutes ago that says, we need to believe it because we won. And it was something like that. What is your thoughts about this? I will invite you to, to search in any web page and on the internet the definition of two psychiatric disorders. One, the psychopathic of personality trust and to antisocial illness of personality. Those are your answers. Thank you.